Before we go ahead and jump into this, I just really want to quickly note, I've had to, I've had to re-edit this video a number of times because typically when I, when I record a video, I use the background music from the game that I'm talking about because typically video games, gacha games allow for you to use their, their music because people stream them, people do dedicated videos on them, but I've had a, a Tower of God video I've done in the past get copyright struck. I've tried to upload this video three separate times. All three times the video has been rejected due to copyright claims on the video due to the music I've been using. <laughs> this, this is, I can't fathom the greed that, that the company associated with Tower of God, the company we're about to talk about, exudes. Crunchyroll is generally considered to be one of the absolute worst studios when it comes to gacha games. They have single-handedly ruined every single gacha game they have ever gotten their hands on. And today, I am going to show you a prime example of why they are so loathed. Why people generally revile them as much as they do. And why you should never support them by playing the games that they either develop or publish. Crunchyroll blacklisted the English voice actors from being able to reprise their roles in the upcoming Tower of God game. So I happened upon this Reddit thread, specifically concerning the brand new upcoming Tower of God game. This is not to be confused with the Tower of God game that released, I think a couple months ago. Laura Post, who is an American voice actor, made a tweet that has actually multiple parts concerning the new Tower of God game and how the cast that originally voiced the characters in the anime are not capable of reprising their role in the game. Laura Post, of course, is a voice actress that has played in over 150 titles, ranging from video games to anime. She played in Fire Emblem Engage, Star Ocean The Divine Force, various different Fire Emblem games. She played in Lost Ark, Shin Megami Tensai, Tales of Arise. She even plays Yellen in Genshin Impact. But more specifically, in Tower of God, she voices not one, not two, not three, but seven total characters. Dude, you, you are talented. Now her tweet goes on to state, you may or may not have noticed that there is a cool new Tower of God game coming out. And you may or may not have noticed that the cast full of totally awesome people who have our blessing is different from the anime. Would you like to know why that is? Before we delve into why that is though, I wanna take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. You guys allow for me to continue to cover video games like this, posting videos every single day, and I cannot thank you all enough. Also, if you have a moment, consider following me over on Twitch where I stream gacha games every single day weekend. First things first, as you may have noticed in the first post, all the actors involved are great people. So many reached out to the original cast when the auditions went out, and every single one has the original cast's blessing. Support them, cheer them on. The English production team, studio, director, also great. So then you may wonder who is responsible for this situation. Well friends, they go by the name of Crunchyroll. Shocked Pikachu face. Yes, you see, when the client making the game approached the studio to begin recording the English localization, Crunchyroll went directly to the client and told them that they owned the voice prints of the original cast, which they do not. They went on to say that the video game client could legally not use any of the cast in the game in any capacity, not even as new characters or different characters than we originally played. We could not even audition for new or different characters. We were blacklisted. What Crunchyroll said is completely 100% untrue. Not only did I personally review my contracts to be sure that there was no such clause, some jobs do actually have clauses where you can't perform a character outside of official capacity, it's why I don't do voice requests. In addition, I also had multiple lawyers look over the contract and they agreed. There's nothing in there to stop us from being part of the project, at the very least, as newer different characters. Which leads me to believe that Crunchyroll here are just being incredibly greedy, and I'm not entirely sure why that is. Is it because they want the studio to go through Crunchyroll and hire the voice actors with Crunchyroll essentially acting as like a middleman, therefore giving 
Crunchyroll more money? Is it that they want cheaper voice actors? They want different voice actors that they don't have to pay as much? Crunchyroll was completely out of line, not just ethically, like, come on guys, your actors need to pay rent, but also legally. They have no ground to stand on to prohibit us from playing different or new characters, and any ground they have to prevent us from reprising is weak at best. But the damage was done, the client was too scared to get involved in an overseas legal battle, and that makes sense. They are in it. Where, where's Tower God from? Korea? This is a Korean studio. This would be a long legal battle that they have to fight if they wanted to enlist the original voice cast when it's just easier and subsequently cheaper, just hire new people. So they would not entertain the idea of including any original cast members in their game. They thankfully decided to do their own thing and not try to voice match us. Moral of the story, we already knew Crunchyroll was not actor friendly, but in my opinion, this was a whole new level. They obviously have no problem going to potential future clients without your knowledge and robbing you as an actor of the opportunity to even audition for work. Personally, I will not be working with Crunchyroll on any future projects without the protection of a union contract. And if I recall, Crunchyroll doesn't actually like unions and beyond that, voice actors that utilize a union. I strongly encourage other actors thinking about working with Crunchyroll in the future to consider that as well. But at the same time, like, let's be real here. You know, you've played in hundreds of anime and video games. So new ambitious, Voice actors probably don't have the uh, the opportunity to pick and choose who they work with, but I totally agree and totally support this decision. I totally support boycotting Crunchyroll. This is an absolute fucking lutely atrocious thing to do to the people that work on your product. Holy fuck! I've seen a few people ask reasonably, why would Crunchyroll do this? And I realized I didn't make it clear. The game is union, and well, we all know how Crunchyroll feels about the union. And there we go. Like d immediately reinforcing my comment. I understand, I, I truly, genuinely do understand why Crunchyroll is as demonized as they are amongst the gacha community. But man, like they, they repeatedly somehow managed to achieve new levels of pathetic, new levels of scummy and distasteful. And it genuinely sucks that there are people out there, talented people like Laura and all the rest of the cast of Tower of God and even future voice actors that are gonna potentially work with Crunchyroll that are going to have these opportunities taken from them, that are going to be utterly and completely abused, often probably without their knowledge. This just further reinforces my opinion that Crunchyroll is one of the worst studios to work with, and I mean, if it isn't already evident, their games absolutely fucking suck. And if I'm being honest, they shut down gacha games more often than they actually release them. And at this rate, they're they're probably actually gonna run out of games to publish. Now, if you wanna support the Tower of God English voice actors, go ahead, comment on her tweet, share her tweet, make sure as many people know about this as possible, the more people that boycott Crunchyroll, the more people that voice their concerns with regards to Crunchyroll and the games that they publish, the better. Because at the end of the day, your actions speak significantly more than your words or lack of words even. Now, if this is of absolutely no interest to you, no problem, I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. It might be more up your alley. 